I'll also touch on a more a few more things that we've started doing on the ranch this year for the first time. We've uh, started using this Vitafirm, not this particular, but Vitafirm products. This is the Vitafirm stress tub. And on our main herd, we've been using the Vitafirm Concept Aid 8S, which is the 8S is phosphorus. It has 8% phosphorus to help with uh, poor forages. And then they have a 10, 10S, which is 10% phosphorus for really poor forages that we might switch to a little later. We do it uh, 60 days before breeding and then all the way up to when we palpate to see which cows are open and bred. So that's roughly 45 days after our breeding season. So it's supposed to really help with our conception rate. I would say average for us is around 72 to 76 percent, which is pretty terrible, really. And so we're hoping this will bring us up to at least the 85 to 90 percent area, which people around our area have seen those results. Just it hurts the pocketbook. They are about twice as expensive for the mineral as compared to what we can just get out of our local feed store. So, and then also on these Bromby, they are a, they are not a cross breed, which a lot of people think, and these are from the Swiss Alps, although they can really handle any condition pretty well, which I feel like a lot of breeding programs and uh, seed stock programs say that about all their cattle but these I just believe can really put on muscling they're a, more of a medium framed cattle rear ends of the commercial cows we have are a lot like drawn up and stuff like that where these are a lot more stocky they all have names there's five of them one's Matilda Versi Ariel Honey Bear and what is the other one? May West. So these will kind of be our little experiment. We're going to be breeding these to double leptin bulls, Bromby bulls, preferably a full blood, possibly purebreds if we can't find any with the double leptin gene. So our program is going to be focusing on crossing these Bromvies that have a double leptin gene to our commercial herds to help with milk production and just a fleshier cow that leptin gene can let them convert feed at a more efficient rate i'll i'll throw up some data on the leptin gene and kind of what it can do as well as which at the end of the day we're trying to produce beef so the leptin gene as well as maternal traits like the milk production and just feed efficiency it also helps create fattier and more tender cuts of meat so which at the end of the day that's what the end consumer likes we're real excited about these Bromby. these we will be looking at all their traits we will collect the milk and do milk samples on these to see what kind of fat and how much they are producing of milk when these get bred as well as do the data on carcass and maternal traits so these cows are going to have to produce, perform, and we're real excited to start collecting the data on them. There are two in here that are my mom. She picked Matilda and Honey Bear, and she will be halter breaking these and kind of doing it more on the dairy side because in the Swiss Alps, they use these as beef producing cows and milk producing cows. So they kind of can do the best of both worlds. If you have ever heard of a brown Swiss, it's kind of just a, it's the same as the Bromby. It's just more, the genetics have been selected to produce milk, where these are kind of more selected to do the beef. But they are, they come from the same genetics. They say these have been around since like 5,000 BC or maybe even longer. They, there's a lot of neat history with the Bromby that I'll, share with y'all in a later date.